Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you stuffed peppers. Well, one stuffed pepper kind of cut in half. Do you guys slice them like horizontal on, put them on their side and stuff them? Or you just stuff the whole pepper? Because after I did it, I was like, oh, I should try. Because oftentimes we only eat half. So I'm like, maybe I'm going to try and just cut it in half and stuff it that way next time. Let me know what you guys do. I'm also drinking water. Cheers from a ginormous mug. This holds 40 ounces of water. 40 ounces. I say that like I drink. And we got some pickles. Pickles. I feel like there's no meal without pickles. It makes me think of, who am I thinking of? Somebody help. Oh, she lives in Maine. What's her name? What's her channel? I just don't see her much lately, so I, I totally just forgot. Super cute glasses, a little wiener dog. One of you is going to know exactly who I'm talking about, so. Mmm. It's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, what are you guys eating for lunch? It is like quarter 20 after 12. I took the kids to school this morning and by kids, I just mean my youngest stepson and my daughter. I don't drive, my oldest stepdaughter does her own thing. But my stepson, my oldest stepson has his own vehicle now. So I don't have to drive him. Yay. <laughs> Yay. These peppers are really soft. Like I can almost peel the skin off which if you know anything about digestion it's the hardest part to digest so sometimes if i see a piece that i can get i take it off but i don't panic about it but we're not gonna make a mess of my peppers <laughs> anyway took them to school and then i had an ultrasound just for some issues that i need to get checked out and had to drink like a liter of water in an hour. Had to pee really bad. <laughs> it's fine. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Yeah. Came home. Did a few chores. And I was like, I was really close to stopping at McDonald's. Like, what's your go-to when you're out? If you're going to run somewhere, it's always McDonald's. But I'm honestly getting sick of it. I always say I can eat it because it doesn't upset my stomach, but I ate it last week and it upset my stomach. So I'm just going to stick to home cooked for a little while. Right? Seems to be doing best for me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't have a, um, a wooden knife. I do. I just don't know where it is. Oh. I only brought the sriracha in case. So, this is a recipe. It will be on my next What's for Dinner on my main channel. I'm sitting in a different spot today. I'm sitting in my living room or my dining room at the end of the table. So, that's my living room behind me. And the table is in front of me. I thought you'd love to know that. <laughs> yeah, this recipe. I don't know if you guys follow. What's her name? Jen. Oh my god, I'm so bad at names. I know channel names, but I'm really bad at remembering the names of people on the channel. <laughs> if it is Jen, it's Southern Mama Drama. If you watch her, let me know below if I have the right name, please. <laughs> she, uh shared this recipe like I want to say two years ago but I don't remember and I made it on my channel and shouted her out because I was like this is the best thing I've ever eaten and the simplest so freaking easy but I didn't have tomato soup for this so I kind of made tomato soup I just took tomato paste and dissolved like half the can in a cup of water Tastes great. But I did put 
tomato soup on my Walmart pickup order schedule. I haven't scheduled to pick it up yet. Oh my God, I'm itchy. Sorry. <laughs> I have not scheduled to pick it up. I just, when did I do my Walmart haul? Maybe it was Friday. Saturday. <laughs> I picked it up Saturday. I didn't put it up until what? Sunday. But I picked it up. We're only Thursday, Wednesday. And I already have a list of like $100 worth of things in my cart. And I just, I'm like, we're already out of bread. Uh, some things I couldn't find on my last one. Great. Like there's just and then there's a few things I want to grab because I have a meal plan and I've been watching other YouTubers lately and I'm just really inspired and want to make these meals. And part of me is like, no, Vanessa, stick to this. And the other part of me is like, when's the last time you felt inspired? Go with it. Go get the food you need to make these things and enjoy it. And so anyway, I'm, I'm all over the place right now what I'm going to do. But we have more than enough food here to feed us for another week. Trust me. I find it really hard to stay out of the grocery stores. Like, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm in there every three days kind of thing, but I am trying to be better. So I will probably just run in and grab, because I already have meals planned for the next couple days and I have what I need. So I may just run in and grab some bread that I know we need. <laughs> and then uh, I'm just, my nose is running because it's so cold out and I've just been running around. This is what happens. I don't have a cold. Mm. so yeah run in and grab what I just the bread I need run back out and then try and hold off on the order till Saturday if I can make it week to week a week I'll be very proud of myself but I don't know who suggested it, it might have been Alma um Manning, I was a little bit blah, blah, on my Costco haul. I was talking about green beans because I got those instead of asparagus because apparently I'm the only one that loves asparagus here. <laughs> but I'm kind of insistent on having some sort of green vegetable every week. So we pick green beans, but they're fresh. I don't know how to cook those. I mean, I know how to cook them. I don't know how to cook them to make them taste good. <laughs> I never grew up eating that. If I did, I ate raw beans out of the garden or canned beans. So... I said, leave me your suggestions. And down below, I think it was, I don't know, somebody said Mandy in the making. If you guys don't follow her, she's phenomenal. She has the best home comfort food recipes you'll ever find. Her and Jessica O'Donoghue. But, I don't even remember what I was saying. So welcome. Welcome to Nosh with Ness where we get completely sidetracked. Oh my God. I was talking to my mother about this the other day because my mom does, excuse me, uh, Facebook live videos because she's a big, big into crafting and she does this for a local store in Nova Scotia and she goes live every Tuesday at 11 and shows people how to make things, carts. And she's phenomenal at it. My mom's amazing. <laughs> Hello, we're getting full. Maybe we'll take the hint this time. Yeah. Anyway, talked about talking and losing your train of thought. And I said, I think it's just a side effect of talking to yourself. You don't have someone else sitting there to remind you what you were just about to say. If you get sidetracked, it's long gone. <laughs> anyway, oh, see, but it comes back. Just chill out. Just go with the flow. Mandy in the making. You guys, I don't even use that much cannabis anymore, so I don't know <laughs> what this is. I can't remember anything. Uh, right, I got on a kick of going to look up her recipes, and then the next thing you know, I'm looking up all her recipes again, because it's been a while since I've watched it. Honestly, it's been a while since I've watched a lot of YouTube. There are certain channels I kind of watch religiously, like I watch Large Family Love every day. She's a daily vlogger. I used to watch Moss Family TV. I, I go through phases, and in two weeks, I might watch 20 videos back to back. 
that's what happens to me. It's just my attention span. I love Fallon. I think she's an awesome mom and a great creator, but it's my brain. <laughs> anyway, I started watching Mandy. I want to try her stromboli. I want to try, oh, there's a chicken and orzo, a Greek chicken and orzo bake. Oh my God, like it's not the kind of food that we would normally eat. I've never had orzo, so I don't even really know what it tastes like. Is it pasta? But I wanna try it because honestly, I'm getting really exhausted trying to spruce up chicken breasts and ground beef because it's about the only meat we can afford to buy on a regular basis and everybody's getting tired of shake and bake. So, <laughs> unfortunately, when you start shopping around and looking at recipes, it often involves buying more food that you don't already have in your cabinets, right? So there were some things like Greek spice, which I need because I don't even have oregano right now. Like, anyway, feta cheese and orzo. <laughs> I don't have orzo. So it's good and bad. Because normally I, this wouldn't phase me, but you know, two years ago when I started my channel, I was always buying lots of groceries to try new recipes. And while filming my meals and making what's for dinners on randomness is very motivating and kind of pushes me to cook, knowing that I'm gonna make a video, you wanna keep it interesting because you don't wanna show the same meals every week. But you're trying to stay within a budget during inflation. I mean, it's hard. So I applaud the mamas out there who are doing these videos and maintaining their content because they blow my mind, like Kristen Stepp and Taylor Elmore and I don't know who else does what's for. There's lots of what's for dinners. I love you all. I watch. I watch more than you. You might even not know that I'm watching them. I'm just not subscribed. Maybe no, I am subscribed. I just don't comment. <laughs> Anyway, I have a lot of recipes I wanna try. I need to pace myself. <laughs> you know, maybe once a week, you know, trying a new, a new recipe instead of trying four in a week. But I get so excited, especially when I look at Pinterest at night or I'm laying in bed and I'm like, ooh, I wanna eat this, I wanna eat this. And then I watch all these YouTube videos and I have this these notes in my notepad on my phone. It says meals and I've just got a checklist next to them. And as I try them, I check them off. And I have my meal plan for this week. I have my meal plan for next week. But I keep altering it because I keep finding new things I want to try, but I need to simmer down. I'm definitely, definitely making her barbecue chicken pizza that she showed and her uh, barbecue bacon cheddar mini meatloaves. I've made cheddar mini meatloaves, I, I can say a dozen, two dozen, three dozen times over my life. It's, it used to be a staple with my ex-husband. I would make them in muffin tins. It was so good. And then, but I want to try this one because it has bacon in it and it has chili sauce in it instead of ketchup. So that one caught me. Again, I don't own chili sauce. I added chili sauce to my cart. That shit's $6. <laughs> ah, between chili sauce and Greek seasoning, I'm already up to 10 bucks. I haven't even had a meal yet, you know? But then I'll try to find other recipes that need chili sauce so the condiment doesn't just go bad in my fridge. Anyway. All these things that go on, A, being a mom, wanting to feed your family something interesting, B, trying to be a content creator to keep it interesting for the people who are watching your videos. All of those things. <laughs> but you made a barbecue chicken pizza. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's because I looked up her, did I look it up or did I just see it when I was on her channel? It could be either. I was in my pantry yesterday, and again, thinking of Tiffany from Large Family Love, she's about to start a pantry challenge, I think for February. She's doing an eat at home challenge right now where you eat all your meals. You don't eat out, period, 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 period. So it's 30 days. Usually when she does them, she goes on for like 70 some days. Girl, I don't know how you do it. But I was looking at my pantry and I'm like, oh shit, I found three cans of chicken. <laughs> I got so excited when I found that canned chicken yesterday. I'm like, First of all, Jamie's always looking for something interesting for lunch, so I'm gonna make him some chicken salad, which is a recipe I found on Mandy the Making. <laughs> I'm gonna end up making an entire what's for dinner video. I'm just trying Mandy in the Making's 
dinners. <laughs> Even though they're rarely her recipes, she always links and tags the recipe in the in the description box. But same with me. Although I don't usually put too many recipes because a lot of times I tweak or it's different or it's it's adapted. I don't know. I don't have that many recipe meals that I share like that. And I wanted, that's the other thing I wanted to get more into. So yeah, barbecue chicken pizza, canned chicken. That was the thing with it. You mix it with barbecue sauce and right away. Canned chicken is hit or miss. The only time I've used canned chicken is chicken enchiladas. Freaking phenomenal. Make them the day before, eat them the next day. That's my best advice I can give you. They're okay the night of. But my God, when you eat them the next day, they almost break apart. Like you can almost use a tortilla chip and eat it like a dip. Like it's so freaking good. Anyway, <laughs> wow. We Let's hope we get that ADHD medication soon so we can have a straight talk here, a straight conversation where I'm not distracted by 10 other things. <laughs> this is what I should just get my psychologist to come and watch my YouTube, watch one of my mukbangs and she'll be like, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Or one of my vlogs or just watch me in general. <laughs> Barbecue chicken pizza, holy shit. Let's stay on topic. <laughs> Canned chicken, red onions, uh, is there anything else? Mozzarella, barbecue sauce. <sighs> oh, she was like, you know what is missing? What would be really good on this is, did she put anything else on there? Oh, she, she brushed like a garlic butter, like garlic with melted butter on the crust. So this is where I'm already at an issue because she used Pillsbury pizza crust. I have pre-made crust in the fridge. I bought them at Costco. Do you think they would be good on those? Like the hard, like the shell that's already made and you just put the toppings and put it in the oven? I think it would be okay on that. So Vanessa, you don't need to go buy Pillsbury pizza crust. Just use what's in your house but I wanna go get everything exactly that she had, right? I wanna go buy the Sweet Baby Ray's Sweet and Spicy Barbecue Sauce that she used. Like, that's how I am. And I need to not be that way for a little bit because I can't afford it. Because <laughs> I'm a Virgo and I can't stop. I just wanna do it. And yeah, she's like, ooh, pineapple would be really freaking good on this. I'm like, yes, yes, pineapple would be so good on that. Another thing that I saw, well, not that I saw, I had from, I think we ordered nachos somewhere. Oh, it was when I, in Fredericton, uh, what the heck's that place called? I went there for my nephew's grad party or going away party. Cannon's Cross Pub. If you're from Fredericton, let me know if you've ever been there. It's really good. But they had barbecue chicken nachos. They had pickles on them. Holy shit, they were so good. Like chopped up pickles everywhere. So that would be good too. So I'm thinking I'll do half with pineapple, half with pickles just to have some fun. It was so fun over here. <laughs> much skin I'll be all right I'll be all right I'm okay with this food knock on wood <laughs> when I haven't overindulged in anything else I've been pretty good I haven't eaten yet today because of the disappointment that I had and I was just nervous and so this is the first thing I've eaten so my body will be able to man maintain this now if in an hour I go eat three cookies and a bowl of ice cream and then an hour after that I eat something else that's gonna aggravate then my system is gonna revolt and be like <laughs> In theory, I also had some really weird news on uh, my appointment that I had today. It was an ultrasound. I'm not going to share it here. I will probably open up to you guys about it on randomness in a vlog, upcoming vlog, because it's just not appropriate to discuss on an eating channel. But we may have a little girl to girl conversation and I'm freaking mortified, but I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Anyway, that's it. That's all I've got going on. I'm obsessed with Pinterest and YouTube and finding new recipes. I'm feeling so flipping inspired to film again and motivated. I'm still lacking a little bit of energy. Uh, constantly fighting a lingering depression in the background. Do you know what I mean? But I am determined, determined this year to push through it. I talked about my last video about wanting to start something new, maybe take a course. I want to work at Starbucks. 
It hasn't gone away. The urge to work at Starbucks is still there. But Jamie's like, you really get up at 530 in the morning and go open? I'm like, you're right. <laughs> but maybe I wouldn't. I'd be excited if I had a purpose. Do you know what I mean? I'm not a morning person and he knows this. I can't sleep in, but I need like an hour and a half to myself every morning. <laughs> anyway. I know there's a lot of things that I want to try. I'm getting overwhelmed with thoughts. I talked to you guys a lot about the youth and addictions counselor that I wanted to possibly take. That is very heavy. And with while I do have, you know, a history with PTSD and depression, I might be an asset in that field. I have um, knowledge of addiction in my family. I'm not sure that's something I can handle right now. And maybe I just start volunteering and I don't need it to be a career, right? I think maybe that's the start. But then I was all over the fence and I said, maybe I'll take hairdressing. And I know that sounds crazy to you guys. But pre-YouTube, I was obsessed with aesthetics and uh, doing makeup. And I was a, I wanted to be a semi-professional makeup artist, like as far as special effects. And I used to wear full face makeup, foundation, everything. Once I got out of the military, after about a year and a half, I kind of slowed down on that. I don't know why. I just kind of started to look more, do more natural, which I love. But I love the idea of just kind of putting on anything to reflect how I'm feeling that day. Do you know what I mean? So, excuse me. I was really contemplating taking a hairdressing course for multiple reasons. And this was a conversation I had with my mom. My mom's like, Vanessa, you've wanted to take this stuff since you were in your teens. But I used to talk myself out of it all the time. Cause I used to say, there's no money in hairdressing. There's no money in being an esthetician. There's no much money in doing nails. Yes, there is if you're really good at it and you have drive and you push yourself. But now I'm at this position in my life where I don't necessarily need to do any of this to make big bank. I just want to do it to expand my mind, expand my socialization, do something that I really thoroughly think I would enjoy doing and profiting a little bit from that. But also I talked to my mom about it. And she said, Vanessa, you could go, you know, volunteer and do hair at nursing homes, or you could do it at women's shelters or homeless shelters or help people like that, like barbering or something. So obviously everything I'm thinking about keeps going back to giving back and that makes my heart warm. It makes it feel really happy. So, you know, and if it was something I did do, I could do it part time or I could, you know, be a traveling. I'd be come to go visit, you know, especially elderly people or shut ins or anybody who's a shut in or something and go travel to their house, offer a discount to do their hair, you know, make it affordable for people who can't necessarily get out and pay $120 to get a haircut with a $30, $30 tip. Like it's, it's, it's a lot. I understand it, but not everybody can do that. And a lot of people consider it a luxury to be able to do those things. So I'm all over the place <laughs> of what I want to invest my time in. And that is the other thing. It's a big investment of time, you know, and I, I drive my daughter to school every morning. You know, Jamie's doing his own thing at school. So, you know, he doesn't have a, a lot of that responsibility here because she's I'm driving her to school. If, if not, there is no bus from where we are because we go to, she goes to school 15 minutes out of town, almost 20 minutes because we moved and never switched her school. COVID was hard enough. I wasn't switching her in middle school. It just wasn't happening. And now she loves St. John and wants to continue going to school in St. John until she graduates. So there's a lot of things to consider. We all have to talk as a family, figure out what I want to do next, but I'm not willing to uproot everybody just to achieve the few things that I'm thinking of right now. Anyway, that's what's going through my mind after five minutes of just talking to you guys. It's exciting though, because like I said in my last video, I haven't contemplated work. If you watch one, any of my earlier, say, I'll never work again. I said that so many times, I didn't think it was possible for me to work. I'm not lying. And now I'm excited at the prospects that are available to me. So I'll take it. It's a win. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. So now I think that's why I've kind of jumped into the content creating, whether it's on TikTok or YouTube. Um, I'm, jump I'm diving in because I'm ready to, to start being busy, finding things to do. My next video is going to be a what's for dinner video. Uh, probably another haul. <laughs> There'll be weekly grocery hauls, if not twice a week. And I want to do a video about, I have 
nine, nine bananas that I need to use because they're going bad because I bought them at Walmart. They didn't look that appetizing when I bought them and I shouldn't have bought them because nobody touched them. I didn't even want to eat one. I hate the produce at Walmart. Why did I do that? Anyway, grab them. Now I have to use them. So I've got nine bananas. I'm going to try three different recipes. I have a banana, crazy banana cake I want to try. Uh, banana peanut butter breakfast cookies that I'm going to try and just straight up banana muffins either banana cinnamon or banana chocolate chip comment down below what you think should I do the cinnamon or the chocolate chip because I'm, I'm all over the place on that one I don't know what to do so I'm going to make a video of three ways to use up your bananas and yeah that's it. I also have all these green beans and I wasn't joking. I'm probably, as I film what's for dinners, not going to show how I prepare the green beans on those meals. And I'm going to save those clips to make a four ways to make green beans. I don't know. Or this is where I'm at. Welcome to my brain. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm going to go and recover from this. I'm actually not stuffed. I feel really, really good. So yay. Oh, you can't see them. They're behind me. They're fine. Anyway, thank you for listening to me yammer because I have a lot in this brain and I sit home all day by myself and I can only bug my mother so much <laughs> before she's going to start screening my calls. All right, you guys, I love you all so stinking much and I can't wait to see you in my next video. And if you can't wait to see me either, make sure you're subscribed to Randomness because I will be posting over there probably at least once a week here, but more often over there. So come and check me out and say hi. All right. Bye guys.